So my name is Shivy Williams. I am your health, wellness and fitness accountability coach. And I help you reach your goals by holding you accountable for reaching them. So as you can see, I'm out here at the park. I just finished doing a three mile walk in 40 something minutes. I'm hot, I'm tired. But I want to thank Elise because she had said something in her live video today that made me think and say, oh man, I should do a video on something she said today. So that's why I came on in the park, hot, with my sunscreen on, so I do have it on sunscreen, um, to give you guys three tips, right? Three tips on how to stop dieting and reach your weight loss goals. So let's start with tip number one. Tip number one is stop looking for a diet, <laughs> right? So stop trying to go on a diet, 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 diet. Stop trying to do that, right? I always hear people say diet this and diet that and diet this and you'll see it online. You see a lot of people always say, you know, follow this diet, follow that diet, follow the paleo diet, follow uh, whatever diet, you know. Um, and let me just tell you what I think about the word diet. I hate it, right? Well, hate is a strong word, but I dislike the word diet, right? Because to me, a diet means you have a start and you have an end. Um, but when you're taking this journey, there is no end to the journey. You have to continue to do what you've been doing, one, to reach your goals, and two, to stay healthy. So first, go, first tip is stop dieting, right? Stop following a diet. Second tip, second tip is to gradually change the way you eat, right? No one is saying that you have to completely, when you first start, completely cut everything out. Stop doing that. Um, if you've done that in the past, you already know that does not work for you. So stop doing it. Stop trying to cut everything out. I'm going to stop eating sugar. I'm going to stop drinking coffee. I'm going to stop eating cupcakes. I'm going to stop doing this. I'm going to stop doing that. I'm going to stop eating fried food. You're going to stop all this stuff at one time. No. Your body needs to adjust to the changes, right? Stop doing that because when you do that, what happens is your body won't adjust. Um, you're not giving it enough, sorry, you're not giving it enough time to adjust to the changes. And so what happens is all of a sudden you have all these cravings and um, your body's fighting you and telling you, you they need, it needs this, it needs that. Okay. So what you do is tip number two, again, is to slowly cut back. So if you drink, let's say, uh, this is a lot, but six cups of coffee a day, right? Um, so maybe you say, okay, well, on Monday, Wednesday, Friday, I'm only going to drink four cups, right? But the rest of the days you drink your regular six cups. So you gradually begin to cut back. And the next week you might say, okay, on Tuesday, Thursday, I'm going to drink four cups um, and then gradually cut back. Same thing, fried food, right? I eat fried food, but let me just be clear. I only eat one thing that's still fried. I love French fries. <laughs> I love them. I will bake french fries at home, but if I'm out and I go to a restaurant, let's say I get a turkey burger, yeah, I'm getting french fries, right? <laughs> I will eat regular fries. I will eat sweet potato fries. Um, so yeah, so just cut back gradually. No one's saying you have to stop eating fried chicken or stop eating fried fish. First of all, see how often do you eat that? How often do you eat the fried fish and fried chicken and potato salad and you know all the unhealthy food, how often do you eat that? Um, take inventory of that and then once you do that then decide on how you're going to cut back right if I know um, I love pizza right so then I just start cutting back whatever it is that you eat a lot of if it's candy if it's junk food start cutting back I eat especially if you're at work right if you're at work or you're at home you have a dish of candy first of all if you have a dish of candy on your desk or at home remove it <laughs> Remove the dish of candy. Let's start there. Um, or your coworkers do. So you're always, when you walk past, you're always dipping your finger, right? So maybe you, 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 you monitor yourself and say, man, every time I walk past this desk, I grab a piece of candy. And I'm walking past this desk like four or five times a day. And each day I'm getting some candy. So you might say, okay, this week I'm just going to only dip my hand in it. Maybe like if you do it five times, you say, okay, maybe three times um, today. I'm going to only dip my hand and get the candy. Um, so, you know, you almost have to have on blinders, right? Like those horse blinders as you walk past the desk. <laughs> so that is tip number two, right? Gradually start to cut back. So tip one, stop saying you're going on a diet. Stop looking for a diet. Tip two is to slowly cut back. Okay, so tip number three, start to eat more fresh fruits and vegetables. Oh, I have a bonus tip. I forgot. So um, start eating more fruits and vegetables. And I know some of you, I've heard adults say, I hate vegetables. I don't like them. You guys, there are certain vegetables I did not like when I first started my journey, right? I was like, ooh, I hate Brussels sprouts. I hate them so much. Ooh, I hate beets. Oh my God, I hate them so much. Now, mind you, 
I ate Brussels sprouts as a kid. My mom would boil them. Ooh, I hated them. Um, beets, my mom would eat pickled beets. So I had tasted them before. I was like, ew, I don't like that. You know, so I started this journey, this health life, my healthy lifestyle journey in 2012, December 3rd, 2012 to be exact, right? I know the date. And um, one day I was in um, one of the health food stores here and they had roasted Brussels sprouts. So I said, okay, I'm gonna try these Brussels these um, roasted Brussels sprouts and see how they taste. Let me taste them. There's other things. I, I, I used to hate sweet potatoes. Oh, hated them. But let me, so back to the Brussels sprouts. So I said, well, let me taste these, these Brussels sprouts. Um, so I got some, I think I asked like if I could have a taste of them just so I could see, cause I wasn't gonna buy it. I didn't like, if I still didn't like them. But when I tell you guys, I fell in love with them. They were roasted, they had garlic in, you know, they were roasted with garlic and seasoning. I said, oh my God, I love these. I love them. So I got a container full of them, took them home and ate them. They had a quinoa and sweet potato um, kind of dish. I tried that. So now I'm into trying things, but um, there are still some things I still don't like. Um, but I, I tried them and I said, like, oh yeah. The other thing about trying and doing vegetables is that you season them the way you like, right? If you're going to use butter, please use real butter. Uh, don't use margarine. Don't use imitation. Use real butter, right? Um, get you some, some great seasoning. Um, I use, I don't use salt on my food, but I season it with other non-salted seasoning, right? Or if you're going to use salt, use pink Himalayan salt or a sea salt. Um, that's better than iodized or table, table salt. So there's that as well. So eat your fruits, eat vegetables. You know, if you have certain fruits you like to eat, just remember that fruit is, can be high in sugar. So check the sugar content as well. Um, so you could do that. Now, tip number four or the bonus tip. The bonus tip is going to be um, how you eat, right? So people have their different theories out there. Um, you may follow the eat six meals a day, um, which would be a breakfast, a snack, lunch, a snack, a dinner, a snack, um, and then that would be it, right? Then you go to bed. It depends on um, your schedule. There's another theory out there talking to one of my coworkers that said, well, you know, it's bad to do that because you don't give your blood sugar enough time to drop back down. So basically the theory was you eat three meals a day, right? So you eat breakfast and then your blood sugar drops, especially for those who have diabetes and your blood sugar drops and then you have lunch and your blood sugar drops and then you have the next meal. There's that theory out there as well. There are some people who only eat once a day, which I'd never recommend, but there are some people that eat once a day and that works for them, right? So what you have to do for tip bonus number four is you have to find, when it comes to eating, what works for you. Some people can't, I eat five meals a day. I can't do six because I go to bed at eight o'clock at night, right? I get home at six, I'm eating dinner at six. When am I gonna eat a snack? <laughs> so I, only eat, I eat five, I do the breakfast, a snack, lunch, a snack, and dinner. Um, sometimes I may eat a snack later, which would be fruit, um, but rarely I do. So those are your four tips. So tip number one, stop saying you're on a diet, right? Stop dieting, stop dieting, stop saying it, stop looking for one. Tip number two is to make sure you slowly begin to cut back, right? Cut back, don't try to just, I'm stopping full, full force, I'm not doing it no more, I'm not eating no more sweets, I'm not drinking no more coffee, I'm not eating no more, drinking no more soda. Don't do that. Gradually begin to cut back. Cut back to the point to where you get, you, you tell yourself, okay, I have this one free day or a free meal, depends on what you want to do. Um, and so that's when I'm going to have my donut or my junk food. I'm going to have it on that day at breakfast, lunch, or dinner, or all day or whatever. Um, and so cut back gradually, right? Cut back. Don't send your body into this stress mode and then now... You know, your body's crying, you crying, you mad at the world because you're not eating any of this stuff your body's craving. So cut back gradually. Tip number three. Excuse me. So tip number three, make sure you guys are um, eating your fruits and vegetables, right? Always eat your fruits and vegetables. You know, try different things. You're an adult now. Try different vegetables. You may still not like them, but you would have tried them. If you don't, if you are saying still, I don't like that because I didn't like it as I was a, when I was a kid, then guess what? It is time to probably try it a different way this time, right? Beets. I told you guys about the Brussels sprouts, but beets. You know, I, my mom had them as a kid, um, eating um, uh, pickled beets. Well, what I did was I will put beets in my smoothie. I will eat beets raw in a salad. I will do Brussels sprouts raw in the salad. I like that now, right? And it cleanses out the system. Ooh, get rid of that bloaty feeling, you guys. And the bonus tip, tip number four, is 
decide on when you're going to eat, right? So everybody has to do what works for them. So you may do six meals a day. I do five meals a day. You may do three meals a day. Some people do one or two meals a day if that works for them and they're losing weight. But it's very, you don't want to send your body into starvation mode because when you do that by lack of eating, you begin to pile on fat, right? So if you don't eat enough, your body will take on fat, right? So those are my tips for today, you guys. Now, if you need help, right, reaching your goals, make sure you visit my website, www.leadingbyexample slash consultation. So I'll give you a three-minute consultation, 30 minutes, sorry, 30-minute consultation where we sit and we talk either face-to-face -face through a conference line or over the phone, and I will give you some tips, three tips on how you can successfully reach your weight loss goals, right? Okay, you guys, it is hot out here. <sighs> I did get up and get my walk in. I will talk to you guys soon. Everyone, again, have a great day. Enjoy the day. Bye. Keep pushing on.